Coming up, Dr. Kwabena Dufour declares readiness to contest NDC flag bearership race. Ugandan judges and judicial officers led by their deputy chief justice in Ghana to understudy Ghana's judicial system. Ms. Jankromo Kufado, the daughter of President Kufado, denies receiving $25 million to paint murals in Accra. And we will tell you about the new $2 million sponsorship package from MTN for the Black Stars. Welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief. It had been mentioned in several political quarters that he was lacing his boots, that he had a presidential ambition, and he was going to pursue that ambition on the ticket of the National Democratic Congress. Today, he officially declared his interest and readiness to contest the NDC flag bearership when nominations open. His name is Dr. Kwabena Dufour, and he is a former Minister of Finance and a former Governor of the Bank of Ghana. My colleagues, we are in difficulty. We are in danger. And I want to inform you that the time for change is now. There's no other. It is now. And therefore, today, I want to announce to you, and I'm announcing my intention to contest for the flag bearership of the National Democratic Congress, NDC. <laughs> any time, any time, any time the party opens nominations. I have led a great public and private life, one of success and accomplishments. I will offer myself once again to save the land of my, of my birth with humility and sacrifice when I'm given the chance to do so. Even though she can't pay the day. Nansu, Nansu, a comfort the day. From politics, we take you to the judiciary where a 13-member delegation of judges and judicial officers from Uganda have visited Ghana to learn from the progress made in Ghana to improve access to justice. The 13-member delegation of judges and judicial officers from Uganda, led by their deputy chief justice, are in Ghana for five days to understudy the country's judiciary to help improve Uganda's justice delivery system. The delegation paid a curtsy call on the Chief Justice, Justice Kwesi Eninyabwa, visited courts, including the Supreme Court, to observe how justice was dispensed in the country as well as the Judiciary Training Institute to acquaint themselves with the training programs of judges and judicial officers. The delegation also observed how the judicial service of the country harnesses technology in the administration of justice. The team ended their stay with a visit to the Sanzheni Otunfo said to the second and also inspected court infrastructure such as the new Court of Appeal residential complex in Kumasi. Ms. Jankromo Kufuado, the daughter of President Kufuado and Chief Executive Officer of the Creative Arts Agency, has reacted to social media rumors that she has been paid $25 million to beautify parts of Accra. In a statement, Jankroma says she has instructed her lawyer to seek legal redress over the report and especially go after the social media commentator who made the allegation. Mr. Kufado described the allegation as a fabrication and said she would seek legal redress against persons and media houses that published them. She indicated that the murals were privately conceived and funded through its own fundraising activities, contrary to the publications. She explained that the private sector funded the Aquare J painting, while the Tetequashi site was paid by herself, with the third painting being completed through the generosity of Ben Asante, the CEO of Ghana Gas. Before we go, telecommunications giant MTN Ghana has announced a 15-month partnership with the Ghana Football Association to become a sponsor of the Black Stars. The deal, which runs out in January 2024, will see MTN commit the city equivalent 
of $2 million to the team ahead of their participation in the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. The sponsorship package is to support the well-being of the Black Stars at the World Cup and their preparation towards the next African Cup of Nations. Addressing a press briefing to announce the deal yesterday in Accra, the Chief Executive Officer of MTN Ghana, Selom Adadivo, disclosed that the agreement was hatched at a meeting between President Kufado, the group CEO of MTN, Ralph Mupita, and the Senior Vice President of Markets MTN Group, Mr. Ebenezer Asante. To make a team stronger, we have to invest. And this is why MTN is here today, to invest in the Black Stars, but also in giving Ghanaians hope. Today was made possible, starting off by a meeting between our group president and CEO, Mr. Ralph Mupita, our senior vice president for markets, Mr. Ebenezer Asante, and His Excellency the President to discuss the sponsorship that we celebrate today. News and Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Juliet Echa Safo. Subscribe now.